Customer price groups are a way of applying special prices to a group of customers. We'll begin by going to the customer price groups page and creating a couple of customer price groups. The first will be retail for retail customers and wholesale for wholesale customers. You may notice the fields allow line discount and allow invoice discount. I'll leave these ticked. This means that along with the prices that we may set for these groups, they can have a further discount applied where appropriate. So uh, now that we have done this, we can go to uh, more options here, navigate customer price group and sales prices. And this opens the sales price page. Note that the filters in this general tab have been pre-filtered to only show anything existing for our current customer price group. Much like we did in the previous video, we'll specify our sales type, which is customer price group. Our sales code will now reference this field, so we can select retail. We will this time need to specify our item number, which will be 1900S. We won't specify a minimum quantity. However, our unit price will now be updated to be 115.5 and we'll set a starting date of the beginning of this year and for the foreseeable future, which we achieve by leaving the ending date blank. Now that this is done, we need to identify which customers are retail and which are wholesale. So in this example, I'll be demonstrating with one retail customer, which from our customers page will be our customer, John Haddock Insurance Company. And under the invoicing tab, we'll see that the customer price group field is visible. You may have to select show more in order to be able to see this. And we can select retail from here. This now means that when we raise sales orders for this customer, the updated price will be automatically populated as they match the price group, which has now had a sales price applied to it.